So let's start with first question from paper A, Eudaic sample questions. Inadequate tissue oxygenation may occur in spite of a normal PaO2, which is a partial pressure of oxygen in the blood. In presence of the following, you see options, all of them are correct. Anemia, a shift to the left of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve, low cardiac output, low local vasoconstriction and metabolic alkalosis. Tissue oxygenation is dependent of many factors. Let's discuss every in part. So delivery of oxygen to the tissue have the following formula. Cardiac output timed by uh, CaO2 or cardiac output timed by content or concentration of oxygen in the blood. This formula is uh, can ex be expanded in the following way. So cardiac output have two components, stroke volume and heart rate. Stroke volume is a volume which one is thrown out or pumped from, from the heart. For example, this one is ventricle and this one is aorta. And if ventricle have 120 milliliter diastolic volume and you pump more than 50% of this volume, you will have around 70 milliliter of blood as a stroke volume and you are timing by heart rate if you you have uh, 70 uh, beats per minute you will have the following uh, formula stroke volume time it by heart rate it is around uh, uh, 4900 uh, milliliter which is around a 5 liter of blood per minute so delivery of oxygen is cardiac output timed by concentration of oxygen in the blood. Concentration of oxygen in the blood have another formula or sub-formula. 1.34 which is constant multiplied by, by hemoglobin. So going back and you see option anemia. Low cardiac output is correct. Any deviation in uh, cardiac output may lead to tissue uh, inadequate tissue oxygenation. Anemia, which is a low hemoglobin, uh, saturation of oxygen, saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen, and partial pressure of oxygen, which is insignificant at normal PaO2. Another picture which is drawn by me, it's a uh, oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. So at P50, which is uh, uh, pressure of oxygen in the blood, saturation is around 50, 50 percent. So if you are going to more pressure in the blood, you can achieve 100 percent saturation so after you achieve this 100 percent saturation you see that curve is not going up too much it's like rectilineal and it doesn't influence at uh, 100 or 120 for example does not change too much too much uh, content of oxygen in the formula So, it is important to know oxygen uh, curve, oxygen dissociation curve. If this one is going to the right, it means that everything is up, out of pH. I, I made this uh, mnemonic to be easy. What do I mean everything is up? So, uh, temperature is going up. Uh, CO2 is also going up hydrogen level going up uh, 2.3 diphosphoglycerate 
going up everything out of pH so high hydrogen level low pH and in in the opposite position when uh, oxyhemoglobin curve is going to the left and P50 is decreased you will have everything down out of pH if pH is alkalotic or represent alkalosis hydrogen will be low CO2 will be low temperature is low so hypothermia and 2.3 diphos diphosphoglycerate will be also low if uh, oxygen dissociation curve is going to the right oxygen uh, release is easy for hemoglobin if this one is going to the left it is uh, binded more avidly and do not release oxygen easily for tissue going back to the options of the question anemia is correct as hemoglobin concentration is dependent a shift to the left of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve once again if this one is going to the left oxygen release is uh, is decreased to the tissue low cardiac output from the formula local vasoconstriction means that less blood is going to the peripheral tissue and uptake is decreased also and metabolic alkalosis results also from uh, shift to the left of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve hope this video is um, is good for you if you like this one you can make a subscription or leave a comment thank you very much